Right, recording again. Just had to put the battery charger on. Like I said, there's a little public footpath over there, and I reckon that would lead you to the mound. Something to keep in mind for another time if I get off the bus this way. I could probably go across country. I'll have to look it up. That would be a nice walk, wouldn't it? Not doing it today, but, um, yeah, because the, the mound is over there that I wanted to climb behind that tree there. But you probably can get across the fields. Uh, might be safer in the winter. Anyway, here's the grave stone of Reginald Hale, who went down on the Titanic April the 15th, 1912, aged 30 years. Sons of the above. Yeah, all these, they didn't all go down, but he went down. He'd gone, he'd come back to England to attend his father's funeral and then went back on the Titanic. He managed to get a t ticket on the Titanic. And, uh, you know, <laughs> to go back to work in America. So sad, isn't it? Anyway, I've been in the church. I've done quite a good video in there. I don't know if it was in focus. Someone else in there now. Don't know where it is. But, um, I got a feeling some of these barns were open once and you could get in the back. And maybe other people have, um, since taken them over. evening service on that could have been the vicar that came in a minute ago it's per per Perry Speech or something that's a big old tree that's a big U isn't it wow that's old that's seen some tales but that was here when the conqueror landed the Giffords yeah we've got Giffords I'm sure it's Giffords we've got oh is it Giffords sure we have. I'll have to look it all up when I get back. There's a nice, that's my, that, that could be the vicarage you see in there, couldn't it? There's a nice image of the church from here. Like I said, I've done it all before. Now right over there is Nyland Mound. Now that would be a great walk across there. But I bet it's very arable, so I bet there'll be cow fields all the way across. You can go to the other side and park. But um, I think I'd rather walk there because I don't think there'd be anywhere for Alberta. But it's something I haven't done for a long time. About 2010, 2009, something like that. You don't do it every time, but when you've had, say, a 10-year gap... You say to yourself, oh, yeah, go on, go and climb up that mound again. Like you do Glastonbury Tor, or you do Brent Knoll. So, I wanted to do it today, but I haven't got time, because I've got um, to get back to Weston for all my Sunday programmes that I watch in the evenings. I'm just going to check the time now, because it could be going on for six. It's five o'clock. So that's good. It's just about right, actually. So there we've got, in the background, we've got Nolan Mound, and then we've got Reginald Hell's family, his brothers and his father and mother, and uh, they're all in there. And there's the mound behind. What a beautiful scene this is, isn't it? Beautiful scene. It's a beautiful church full of um, medieval stuff, and later stuff, 16th century. Rodney, the Rodney family had it until they ran out of male heirs and then the <laughs> remaining heir was a girl and she married somebody else and then they took the place over something on those lines but it was in the family in their family for 400 years 
It's a bit like our Dallum, really. It was all in the family for a you know, long, long time. You've got hells here. I remember now. Sacred to the memory of our beloved daughter, Sylvia Hell. Yeah, she's there. And we've got Edith Jane Hell, died 1960, age 80, and her husband George Wentworth Hell. He died the 27th of January, 1960. They died very close together, didn't they? Yeah, they died sort of like eight days apart in there. And there's another hell, Roland Hell, Emily. And there's some other graves, I think, over that way somewhere that are uh, <coughs> connected as well. Yeah. It's a very peaceful place, this. I mean, look at that lovely scene. It's not Brent Knoll, that's an island mound. It's a, got a trick point on the top. It's a significant mound. And I did intend doing it, but I went out late today. If I'd gone out at 10 o'clock, I would have I been able to do it all, but it was hot today. So I'm looking for hells because my cousin Barbara in Canada comes from a hell family. And here we got Mary Hell. She died 30th of December, 1969, age 42. And David Ronald Hell. He died the 15th of September, 2017, age 91. So he 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 was um, left behind after she passed away. Now right over there we got the Mendips, and I got Crook speaking a minute ago. Um. Yeah, there's a, it's a lovely peaceful grave on such beautiful views. There's my old Berta. I've brought her here because she's never been here. I want you to include old Berta's life story in this. Because old Berta, I'm trying to show her around a bit. I'm dreading the day I've got to say goodbye to her, you know. She's my freedom. Before, when I was younger, I used to cycle everywhere, and, but I'm, I'm still will be free. I would just have to use buses and trains. But I do like my Alberta. I don't get away in her enough, really. Now, here we've got Howard Hell, 1974. Rector Warden for 40 years, greatly missed by his wife, Evelyn Vera, and she died 1986, age 85. And then you've got Sylvester E. Hell, died 1983, age 70, and his wife... Kathleen Hell, she died 2002, age 84. Then we've got another Hell here. We've got Ava Angel Angela, daughter of Kathleen and Edward Hell, tragically killed in the air disaster, Hockwold, Switzerland, 10th of April 1973, age 21. She was the same age as me, this girl, um, in 1973. Um... That was all to do with a great lot of women that died. They'd gone away um, Christmas shopping or or something like that. Um, I'm sure that's one of the incidents in the air disaster. Yeah. I'd have to look that up again. So there's another hell here. We've got Matthew Cecil Hell, dear husband of Alice, died August 1958, 69. So as you can see, there's a lot of Hell family here, and I got a feeling I might have linked them all up once. Or it was a project I had to do, because I got lots of projects. I find out lots of stuff like when I do this, and then I never always get back to it, because I'm so busy. I'm so busy, I'm getting old myself. There's no one to take over. No one who would come and do this, I don't think. Here's another hell here. Enough in memory of Bessie Danella, Dan, Dananella, loved wife of Howard Hell, past 
19th, I can't quite read that, 1934, age 49, she fought the good fight, that's her in there then, some of these are, could be very connected by the way, because people were married into other families with different names, don't forget, the women did. So yeah, there's a lot here. It's beautiful. It's a really one of the most peaceful graveyards. It really is. And uh, somebody's been tidying up a little bit. Look, here we go. We've got another Hell. I don't think I've got this one before. In memory of Samson Hell died May the fifteenth, nineteen thirty-one, age forty-five. At rest. Yeah, see, there could be, he could have some on the other side. Samson Hell. I need to make a note of all these. Because they could all be linked to, um, because it's all this area, Shipham, um, Rowborough, and this is over the other side of the hill, if you like, this, this lot. They could still be linked up, though. And I don't know if I ever got around to doing that. Oh, it's so beautiful, isn't it, to be out here? So beautiful. I mean, I was out walking in the hills the other day, but there's some beautiful churches. There really is. Right, over and out, folks. Okay, I just missed the five bells there, and I turned off the video the very last minute and just got one gong and there was five within 20 seconds of me turning off the video then. The church. Over and out again.